All right, and we're back. So, good morning. I'm gonna take last night's total of, what was it, 30 bucks or whatever it was, 32. I'm gonna apply it to today. So all I need to make is 90 bucks. I am logged on to McDon or not McDonald's, wow, uh, DoorDash, and I picked up a McDonald's order. I'll put it right here so you can take a quick look. $12 for five miles. I almost wonder if there's a hidden tip on that or hidden pay, whatever you want to call it. Friday is meant to be is meant to be an exciting day because thank fuck it's Friday. I just I just like Fridays. That's why I like taking the weekends off because I like I like going home on a Friday, kicking my shoes off and saying, that's it, I'm done. At least with work. Because more times than not I gotta get up and clean the house, vacuum, maybe some laundry, depending on how low I am on shirts, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so I'm heading to McDonald's now. I'm gonna go pick that up and we'll uh, just keep going from there. Oh, and I might have a dumpling order. I told the customer just to send it because I can get it done this morning since, well, before the McDonald's order, I had nothing going on. Now I do, so we'll just see when she sends it. She's pretty good about not wanting it right this second, so I could maybe get a couple orders done before I go take care of her. Good morning, what can I get set up for you? Hey there, I'm uh, with DoorDash picking up for 576. Uh, 576. Okay, that one has a frappe and a smoothie on it. We don't have either one. Okay. So, do you want to pull around to the parking here and I'll, I'll let you in the back door? Okay. And then we'll fi and then find out what they want to do. Okay. Thank you. All right, so a little update on that order. Customer's not gonna be too thrilled, but they got refunded for it. So they don't have any, or the, the store didn't have any frappes or uh, smoothies. So I sent the, the customer a text, didn't hear anything, but then the uh, people at McDonald's uh, refunded it for me. So we're all good to go. As soon as I got close to McDonald's, I picked this up. Seven bucks going about a mile. I've never seen these instructions before. If you have a stacked order, pick up non-McDonald's item order first. Weird, but whatever. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Go ahead and order when I'm here, ready. I'm with uh, DoorDash picking up for 628. There we go. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I didn't get a shot of me delivering that. So I am heading back towards town and see if I can pick anything else up. If not, I'll go start the dumpling order at Food Max. She's not in a, a hurry to get it, but for me, it's one of those, sooner I get it done, the better. All right, so I was gonna try for one more order in DoorDash, but I figured I'm already at Food Max. I might as well just go in and get it done. Uh, this customer lives north of town a little bit. I've been there multiple times and I've done her trip uh, multiple times on this channel. Nothing um, out of the ordinary. I'm gonna look through her list real fast and then we'll uh, run in there and get it done. All right, so that trip took a little longer than I was expecting. I had to go to Walmart after I went to Food Max because Food Max didn't have everything that was needed. So I got it all unloaded. I'm heading back into town now. I made $27 off that order. So not too shabby for an hour's worth of work. Would you like me to be completely honest right now? You know what, I'm gonna be because I'm nice like that. I don't wanna work today. I wanna go home, I just wanna hang out. I already didn't, but I already didn't work on Monday, so I kind of have to work today. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. Something just feels off. Not in a bad way. Just, I don't know, I can't explain it. Tiny bit of a wait, but I did pick this up from Taco Bell. $8 going a couple miles. 
easy enough. After a bit of sitting, let's say about 10 minutes, I picked this up from Burrito Bandito, uh, $10, six miles, and Burrito Bandito is just kind of not right around the corner, but it's close enough. So uh, waiting 15, close to 20 minutes for this order sucked. That was a lot of stuff on it. It was only eight items, but you know, making eight burritos is kind of a task in and it, of itself. I went to go park and I saw a couple of dashers just uh, sitting around twiddling their thumbs. I don't know how much longer today's gonna go. I have been checking Amazon Flex because there was a uh, block worth 121 bucks, but the time expired and it just never came back. Well, that was cool. I almost got in a car wreck. So um, yeah, I think this is gonna be my last one. I picked this up from McDonald's. Eight bucks going two miles, I think. I just need to end today. And with that, I think I'm done for the day. I am gonna creep home very slowly-ish before something bad happens. I just get this bad feeling, especially after that little scare before the last order. So let's see, how do we do this? And then we're gonna put it all together and this is the total for the day. Not impressed, but you know what? It's over a hundred bucks. So at this point, it's whatever. You have good days, you have bad days, and then you have really weird days like today, where even when you add in the night before, it just doesn't do it justice. But to be fair, yesterday, as I said at the beginning of this video, I did make well over 200 bucks. Take the good with the bad. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up so more people can see it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you most definitely in the next video.